Welcome back to another bump date. I am 33 weeks pregnant and feeling big and pregnant. I'm super excited about today's uh, bump date because I'm actually filming it across the street at my neighbor's house because I'm watching her kids while they take a nap and she had to go do something. So I get this beautiful like Christmas display behind us. She's a really great decorator. So, so I am 33 weeks and I'm feeling good. I feel pretty like big. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm so awkwardly shaped right now that I can't do a lot of things. Like I finally reached the point where I can't put my, well, I can if I like try really hard, but I've asked Zach a couple of times to put my shoes on for me because it's just really hard to bend down. And like whenever I put the kids' shoes on or anything, I have to like put them up on the counter so I can reach them comfortably. So I am reaching a, a phase of bigness. This is the big phase, but it's all good. It's worth it. Um, but other than that, I really, I still do feel like if I move, if I do too much, if I exert too much energy, then I start having Braxton Hicks contractions just like, if I walk too fast or whatever, I get all tight and I have to just like stop moving for a second and let my body do its thing. But I am sleeping pretty good. I do need, I do wake up maybe like two or three times a night to use the bathroom. I'm still having pretty wacky dreams, which messes with my sleep. But lucky for me, my two little ones, they sleep really well. They sleep at least until like 7.30 or 8. So. so I'm getting plenty of sleep if I could just get myself to go to bed early enough. So one thing I wish I would have been doing on all of these bump dates is explaining a little bit of like where the baby is in in his growth. Um, I don't know why I didn't do that, but this week he will be about 15 to 17 inches long, which is like long. I mean, if he's like stretched out, he's all like bundled up in there, but that's kind of like a big kid in there. And he, my, my the app that I have says three and a half to four pounds, but the last time I got an ultrasound, they said he's at least three pounds and that was like two or three or four weeks ago. So I'm pretty sure he's probably over four pounds, which is wonderful. If anything happened, I feel like that's a good substantial weight to just be a good, if anything, if he had to, you know, be born for any reason. One of my favorite moments or just one of my favorite things um, thus far in the pregnancy and about this this time is that I'm, I'm definitely big enough that people are aware of my belly and we just had Thanksgiving and so, it was fun seeing a bunch of family and they got to see me in this pregnant state and people just are happy for you. It's just fun to have such a, a an exciting new thing about to come into your life and everyone's just happy for you and so it's and just to get some attention. I guess I just like attention. Is that what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't I don't think it's getting attention as much as it is just having this joyous baby. This just it's just fun. It's just fun and it's fun for everyone around me. So um, that's been really fun and again I say this every single time but I love um, having my kids around and them they just love the baby already every now and then Piper will just like stop whatever she's doing if she like sees my belly and she'll just be like oh baby <laughs> she like rubs my belly a little bit and she's, she'll talk to the baby she'll say wake up baby <laughs> you see him twitching? yeah <laughs> yeah uh, Something I am looking forward to um, within the next couple of weeks. If you guys saw my video yesterday, we just got a new laptop, and what that means, uh, it means a lot of things, but one other thing it means is that I can move my like desk area that's taking up where the baby stuff is going to be, and we're gonna move that out and get it reorganized so that we can maybe move the crib in. Um, I'm gonna start getting all the baby clothes out and getting those organized before we head down to Arizona for Christmas. So that's actually going to start happening now that I have my laptop and we can start the transition of like, I have this now so I can work wherever I need to and we can move this out of the way and move that back in. and. And I can start nesting because if you don't know, pregnant women get into this nesting mood come like as it gets near to the baby where we just want to like, I don't know, make a nest for them. It's kind of a weird thing, but it's, it's real. So I'm excited to nest for the baby, but I can definitely feel this baby is not like, it's just too big for me. He's just stretching out all the time. I feel like he's always like putting like arms this way and his feet are poking me on the other side. And it's a weird feeling, but He's definitely tight in there and I feel like I'm just stretched to my limits at this point. He still has like seven weeks or something, so he's got a long ways to go and I don't feel like I can go, I can stretch anymore. 
but it's okay. I, it's fine. It's fine. I can do this, right guys? We can do this. So that's pretty much it. I am feeling really great. Um, I can't complain. Everything, I'm sleeping good. I'm healthy. Um, the baby's healthy. So I'm really excited. And just thank you to everybody who is just being so supportive. Every time I post a bump date video, the comments are just uplifting and wonderful. And I feel like this YouTube space that we've created is positive and happy. And I hope that you guys can come to these to my channel and um, feel joy and excitement. And if you are expecting or interested in pregnancy, I hope these videos are interesting for you. And yeah, just thank you so much everybody for commenting and having this space be a positive space for all of us. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more bump dates coming in the coming weeks and also just some really fun um, December videos with a lot of fun activities. And yeah, we'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.